All right. Well, I'm out here at an old school in McAdam, and um, picked up a wheat scent at about two inches. And what makes it interesting? It's like a 53. What makes it interesting is that it was right next to this piece of foil, but uh, it still came in clear. It, it picked up the bigger piece of uh, metal. Um, it was um, coming in at a 12, 11, 44. So um, and and didn't even really. Uh, affect this with the foil being right right with it so pretty cool and uh, I'm just gonna hunt a little bit of this and hopefully hit out there's an old baseball field out there and a friend of mine told me about it that he went to school here I think and he used to play baseball in that old field out there it's the only baseball field here so uh, see what we can find hopefully we'll pick up some silver today Scent number two. And this was coming up a 15, 36, 37. Uh, 15, 46. Well, there. Well, let's change the numbers at 1244. Could be a dime. We're pretty, we're, we're, um, we're at six inches right now. And at six inches, it's the blade is six inches. So, six inches. down a little bit further. Ugh. Still down there. And, um, you know, for some of you guys out there saying, oh, look, oh, it's clad. It's clad, clad. It's right there. So, how deep is that right there? Um, that was six inches to the top of the uh, blade right there, measured out with the uh, top of the grass. So, six inch penny, and um, it barely picked that up. Uh, it picked it up, yeah, I will admit. Um, I found it with uh, it's a wheat scent. I found it with the uh, E-Track first, and then I wanted to see if, of course, the AT Pro could hit it. So it's kind of an unfair judgment in a way, in some senses, because I found it with one and knew where it was. But, um, it, you know, I will say that the AT Pro hit it, um, and uh, I don't know, I guess I would have dug that because uh, it would have had a high tone. The numbers were there. Um, it's just one of those things if you got to catch it. Um, so... I'll say uh, I'll say that they both passed the six inch test. Well, I had a short old target and picked up a dollar coin, and I got another signal right in here, and it's coming up uh, five forty nine. 549 1246 so uh, there it is I can kinda feel it with the coin so it's a quarter any more money in there? oh jackpot and this is how you pay off your detectors Come on, thought I felt you with the tip there. It's somewhere right down here. Making a mess of this hole. Well, it's a big pocket spell. I've got, well, I shouldn't say big, but it sounds like there's more money right here. Under the surface. Oh, I feel bad. 
This is what happens when you dig any film with one hand. Oh, look right there. Another dollar. What else we got? Anything else? Come on. Give me the money. Show me the money. Oh, I think that might have been it. Sound like there might be something else right here, but... Nope, I think that's it. I'll scan it after I stand up. 225. Sweet. All right, one more coin. I had it. I think I had it in the clump off to the side. Oh, right there. Another quarter. Yeah, that does it. 250. All right. Well, I got a 1235, and this is what a 1235 was. Thought I might be digging a penny or a pull tab, but it says healing, and it's got uh, some writing on the other side. Healing, a little stone. It's only about five inches down, that's what it was showing. So, let's see what we find. At about five inches. <sighs> Maybe something deeper. It's right here, whatever it is. Oh, ta da! Now that's sweet. I was really hoping not to leave here without getting a silver. Three or four wheats and a silver. It's a mercury dime. I'm going to take a wild guess. The consistency of the uh, wheat pennies have been about 44, so I'll say this is about 44, 43. 45? Right, that is very nice. I'm gonna walk around the backstop here a little bit more, and and uh, that number was uh, bouncing though. It was bouncing, but it was in the uh, high conductive numbers. Nice, very nice. Hey, I wanted to show you a tip that I saw somebody else do on uh, YouTube. I just thought it was great, and, and, and nobody's ever actually told me this, but you know, you got these probes, right? These uh, sunray probes. And uh, you know, you're going in the coin, you're trying to find, the, find it, and you really can't find it, and you're looking all over the place for it. Well, if you hit pinpoint on your thing, you can pinpoint, you could pinpoint using your probe. Right here, and uh, I found that to be extremely helpful because I don't really the probe isn't to me is not the greatest. I mean, it's good, but um, it's not the greatest. Uh, yeah, it's the bolt. You get a lot of funky sounds in this little area right here, but um, it works great. It can it really uh, will pinpoint in where you're at. Um, uh, just it's really helpful. So, pinpointing with the probe. All right, um, had an 11.35, and good signal, uh, probably about five inches. It's really green. Man, I haven't had a green coin like that in a long time. That's a wheat penny. Wow, that is green, oh my gosh. Nah, it's too dark. Man, I was going to move away from the school and go to uh, this other old place. 1929, I think. Man, nice. Very nice. It's right here behind the backstop. Found the uh, Merc right over there. 
I'm going to work this area a little bit better. Man, I don't even know if I'm going to make it to the other place I wanted to go today. Bummer. <laughs> but hey, if they keep popping out old coins here, my eyes well stay. Alright, getting another kind of an iffy sound because I got a lot of garbage here, but uh, 1645, 1848, 1947, 2144, 1248, 1841, and it's only showing, only showing about four or five inches. The pinpointing is difficult because it wants to pull over here because something bigger over here. what that is. Well, I got a 1445, 1545, 1643, and guys, we're only talking four, four inches. So, look, bye-bye. All right, another wheat scent. I think it's a 44, and this was a really hard one to get. Uh, there's a lot of garbage in here, and it wasn't that deep. And I should have put the AT Pro on it. Um, I was trying not to, to pull it out. I wanted to still keep it in the soil so I could actually test it with the AT Pro. But, man, with the uh, E-Track, I had a signal. I pinpointed it in here. I was digging down, and I almost gave up on it. I unmasked it went back over and it was still giving me good 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 tones in there so I went down again and and it was it was over off to the side and only about four inches down but there must be a lot of other garbage mixed in here some I didn't see any other iron but there must be a lot of other stuff in here because uh, it was a hard one to find man well at the depth I'm getting I'm pretty positive that this is going to be silver. It's like a 1044, and right before I started to dig it, I had a 1350, and I was like, okay, I'll take a, uh, I'll take a silver quarter, but I'm getting a, uh, well, 1142, 46, 2750. 1343 and I'm at exactly five about six inches to the coin and what shall it be B silver you know I've never had a three silver day three silver coin day I think I've had I don't know if I've ever had two coins and uh, two silver oh it's not it's a wheat scent. Ugh. Oh, it's a wheat scent. I saw a green turd down there. Ugh. Oh, my hopes. I was hoping for even a pockets bill. I am getting some high tones in there. 1750, 2550, but I have a feeling it's just crap. Anyways, so it looks like I got a wheat scent oh, at about five, six inches. Yep, greeny, green. So uh, the last green I had was pretty dang old here. I don't think I'm going to get a date on it right away. It's getting dark. Never got to my second stop today. Started to find some wheats and uh, shallow wheats. Looks like 1952. Well, 
this had this had every indications of being iron. Um, this was a really tricky one too. This uh, my hole is seven inches. Uh, six and a half, seven, maybe six inches to the point. But I was getting I was getting um, some good tones, some good high conductive tones in there, in and around eighteen and then 23 and then um, I got 35 I unmasked it and I get a lot of 35 35 35 and stuff like that but when I unmask it I still was getting a nice uh, 46 you know uh, conductive number and it was there so I decided to dig it because the, the tone was right and I knew that there was probably some the, in the, um, the pinpointing was off too so <laughs> Oh yeah, getting some good luck. <laughs> um, so there's some iron, some iron in here, but 1646, 16 or 1446. So is that a quarter? It's right here. It's not a quarter because it's too small. Oh, it's my first, it's a first for me. It's my first barber dime. Well, I'm about a foot away from where I got the, um, the, uh, barber, and I thought I was maybe going to get a, a nickel, old nickel here, and ends up being, and this is an old little pocket knife, about, uh, five inches down. All right, pretty cool. It's not uh, corroded out. It's kind of nice. It's bone or ivory. All right, another wheat penny. You know, and it just tells you how hard some of this stuff is to find because right there is where I dug, uh, I think, the Merc. And then I came, I went all the way around, all the way out that way, all the way back around. Came back up here, you know, found the barber, zip back in. Came back here, and then find another penny right next to it. Weird, huh? It's green. I'll check the date later. My phone's about ready to die.